President Vladimir Zelensky says Ukrainian troops are making powerful advances in the south. The Ukrainian leader of the Luhansk region says the deoccupation has begun. Despite the setbacks, the Kremlin is moving forward to annex four Ukrainian regions. Earlier today, President Vladimir Putin signed into law measures deemed illegal under international law. Well, meanwhile, Russia says it should be part of the probe into leaks in the Nord Stream gas pipelines. Sweden has blocked off the area around the pipelines pending an investigation. Well, I want to welcome Peter Holtquest, Sweden's defence minister. He joins me now via Skype from Stockholm. Good to have you with us, minister. Thank you so much. Thank you. So there's been so much speculation about these blasts on the pipelines uh, that run from Russia to Germany. Many point to sabotage. What can you tell us about the likely cause and the culprit? Uh, first of all, we are now doing a police investigation. The Swedish security police is, they are responsible for it. And um, they are doing it in the area. And um, this will take some time, but it's very important that they can do their job. And they also do the same from the Danish side. So we have no evidence and we have no result yet. And they have to come back with the information when they think that uh, it's time for that. That is the topic number one. Topic number two is that uh, from uh, our first analysis is that this is done by somebody that have, have ambition to do something. And we see that there may be a responsibility for a state actor behind it. And I understand, Minister, that Sweden has sent a diving vessel below to investigate. Uh, what more can you tell us about how long it will take? Uh, we understand that Ukraine, along with many other nations, is already pointing the finger of blame at Russia. Uh, should you find Russia responsible, what sort of action are you willing to take? We haven't any evidence or proofs, so we can say that it's a specific nation. So what we have to do now is to do a good job around this investigation, and then we have to come back. Uh, we've seen so much gas bubbling in the ocean from these pipelines. What do we know about the environmental damage, uh, and when will these leaks uh, cease? It's too early to say, but it has an impact on the environmental question. And uh, I think that there are still some activity with these leaks. But uh, we, are, we also have now started the investigation around what's really have happened, and the security police is responsible. I understand, Minister, that you've just come from the Swedish Foreign Policy Committee meeting. Oh, what was said about Russia's illegal annexation of those four regions in Ukraine and what new sanctions are being considered? I think that the uh, European Union have to decide about new sanctions. That's very important. I think in Sweden we have full support for new sanctions and we also condemn what the Russians have done. It's against international law in all means. And, they escalate the war when they are doing like this. So we condemn what Russia have done. Uh, so can you take us through the top uh, talking lines, the agenda from the meeting you've just come from, from the Swedish Foreign Policy Committee meeting? Yeah, the topics is the annexation of Crimea. It's also about these gas pipelines leaks in uh, the economic zone of Denmark and Sweden. That is what we have discussed. Some of what we have discussed is classified and some of it is open, but it's a broad support for condemning Russia's activities in Ukraine. And we will support also Ukraine in the future with new deliverances with weapon systems. Uh, can you tell us more about that? Sweden obviously has dropped its neutrality, applied to join NATO. Uh, and Sweden, we know, has, has donated a number of packages already to Ukraine. Are there any more on the horizon? We have uh, decided about uh, se we have decided seven times about uh, support, including military material, to to Ukraine. Uh, one new dimension from our side is that we, together with uh, other countries, 
under UK leadership train um, troops that should serve in the Ukrainian armed forces. We are also involved in international discussions about production directed, weapon system production directed to Ukraine. So we will see a long term support to Ukraine. And um, we think that that is very important. And it's very important also to support them in ways so Ukraine can feel that they have a real support and that they can also be successful. Peter Holtquist, Swedish Minister for Defense, we appreciate your time today. Thanks so much for joining us.